Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and I welcome you all to Geospatial Components Step by Step series. You are watching fifth part of this series and in this session we will be talking about how we can import ge GeoJSON shapes into the map. Now in my earlier session we have discussed about how we can draw different geospatial boundary to the map. Now what happen if we want to store that to anywhere in our SharePoint list or maybe we wanted to show that information into another map with the help of GeoJSON shape object. So let's get started with that thing in detail over here. First of all, let me show you the end outcome that we are going to achieve over here. So let's say for an example, here I have created one sample map and here is another map. Now let's say I am drawing something over here like this and I am just giving my shape name as grass loan. Now what I wanted to do here is I just wanted to store this information and wanted to display in the another map. Then how can I do that? So whatever the boundary that has been captured here, I wanted to show and store that somewhere else and show it into another map. So whenever I am clicking on this right option, it will show and draw the similar object over here with the exact same information. So how can we achieve this kind of requirement? It is the concept of importing GeoJSON boundaries, right? So now let's get started with the development process. So first of all, here I have created one blank Power Apps Canvas app. Now let's draw two map visual. Go to the insert, go to the media and just add map visual over here. So here I have added one map visual on my screen. Similar way, let's add another map visual on the screen as well. So I just added two map visuals over here. Now what I want to do here is I just wanted to increase the height and width of this particular map thing. So I just increased this thing over here and now what I want to do here is I just wanted to add one icon over here. So go to the icon and then let's add right arrow over here. So I just added that right arrow over here and now similar way I just wanted to add one reset icon. So I just added that reset icon over here. Now what I want to achieve here is I just wanted to draw few things onto the map and based on that I wanted to draw the similar boundary over here. Now whenever we click on this particular thing we will get GeoJSON object. So let's collect that thing to our collection. Now let's click on right arrow and now let's apply on select code. I am providing this code where I am going to create one collection called GeoJSON value and inside that I am just creating one column called GeoJSON and inside that we are just providing map1.geoJSON. Right? Now what happen here is whenever I draw any object over here it will store that value into this collection. Now just select this particular map and now go to the advanced stuff and now here we need to configure two different property. First one is shape items and shape geojson object. So click on shape items. In that we need to provide the name for our collection that is geojson values and over here we need to provide object geojson value dot geojson right. Now just select your map and just enable those preview property for shape. So we will just enable shape drawing and shape deleting. So let's turn it on right and similar way for this one as well. Let's turn it on. Now let's run our power apps and now let's draw a new object. So here let's say I just wanted to draw one shape and just need to provide the name that is grass loan and then just click on new and here we are it has been added successfully similar way we can draw any polygon and the same thing will be reflected to there as well so let's add that and it has been added perfectly over here now let's apply reset code so on select just clear the collection 
just use a code clear and inside that geojson values so that will clear up my collection and we are able to clear all the things from our map right so this is how we can easily able to draw and import the geojson object to the map so import procedure is very simple you need to select the map and need to select only two properties that is shape items and geojson objects object will be similar value like this so whenever you add that the json value is looking like this one right so hope this is clear for you now and this tip is helpful to you if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any consultancy here is the website just post your question over there if you want to follow me on facebook linkedin twitter whatsapp and linkedin uh, there are links available over here also if you are looking to listen different power platform podcast here is a separate link where you can listen different power platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more also if you want to follow me on instagram there is a link and you can simply follow me on power platform guy where you can listen and learn different concept for power platform on instagram also if you are interested for different short video related power platform here is a separate channel called digital thruvin subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye